hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be talking about obi kubana who is obi kubana this video will reveal everything you need to know about this multi billionaire and successful businessman in this video i will take you on obi kubana's net worth his cars house biography clubs and even recently the extravagant burial he made for his late mother Actually, bought a necklace. Who is Obi Kubana? Um, so, billionaire business mogul here in Nigeria. Uh, he runs um, one of the most luxurious um, hospitality and entertainment brands, aka Papa Boys, because he is four boys strong. Uh, just in case you guys haven't figured it out, ladies and gentlemen, we have here in the studio with us Mr. Obina Iyebu. AKA Obi Kubana. How you doing, sir? I'm good. <laughs> it's good. It's good to have you around. Thank you so much. So, so the last time you came on um, on our IG live, we really had loads and loads of engagement. Everybody was just, you know, filling the comments up. Hey, Mr. Kubana, <laughs> how was how was the experience for you? What would you say people really love about you? Okay, um, that's that's a great interview. Mm -hmm. uh, it came naturally. I enjoyed the session. I dished out some advice for those who were really still listening and I also had a lot of uh, positive feedbacks so that uh, that people actually welcomed it and it's a good experience. But frankly, you seem to be a very, very lovable person. So what, what would you say that, you know, is responsible for that? Why do people love you so much? <laughs> well, I think maybe because I'm keeping it as simple as possible, mm. as simple and as natural as possible. Sure. I don't need to struggle to form what is not. So this is me, this is who I am, this is who I've always been, and this is who I will always be. So maybe that's it. So easy, easy does it. Easy does it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, apparently there's a saying um, when it comes to the business world that you do not mix business with pleasure, right? Okay. But we see Mr. Obi Kubana mixing business with pleasure in <laughs> such a fantastic way. So what would you say, um, how, how are you able to like keep this balance? My business is pleasure. Mm. <laughs> so you can't run it 
without having the pleasure and then additional pleasure too. Our business is like a, a clinic that takes away stress and gives you back happiness in return, okay? Because the people who are stressed, they come out here. We give you a wonderful ambience. We give you a good environment, good music, good food, mm -hmm. drinks and everything. And then you, you live lighter. Mm -hmm. So my business is run inside pleasure. So I can actually boast that I can <laughs> mix business, business with pleasure. pleasure and get away with it. So, I mean, apparently everybody knows the Kubana brand, right? Yeah. But just for the benefit of those people who might be hearing about Kubana for the first time, could you tell us a little bit about what the Kubana Group is? Okay, the Kubana Group is a, a hospitality and entertainment uh, brand. brand. We have chains of hotels, restaurants and nightclubs. The best set of nightclubs you can find anywhere. So it's actually a, a happiness ground. We breed happiness while making money. Okay? So that's where we measure in. We're gonna go into a lot of other things in future, but right now we're just measuring in this entertainment and hospitality, the hotels, the clubs, and the restaurants. Yeah. Okay, it's now, um, I mean, I, I know it's very challenging in the entertainment space. Business generally in itself is, is quite challenging. Um, and, you know, it's been, it's been a long time coming, I'll say, yeah. right? So at what point did you feel that, ah, like they say, this hustle is now paying? At what point did you reach that? Um, um, we... It's been a very long journey, you know. Uh, social media just made it look as if Kubana came yesterday. Right. Uh, so <laughs> prior to that, we've been on the background, toiling, skimming, walking, facing the challenges, up and down. And what will I say? As far back as 10 years ago, we've actually made it big. Because the first Kubana will be 13 years by October this year. Mm. 13th October precisely. To be the first one, one in, in Wuse two. Um, the ups and downs of business at the time, Abuja, the Boko Haram era, business became a bit scary, and then we had to move to Port Harcourt. From Port Harcourt, we faced some challenges. Just security, also, we established the one in Oweri. Right. From Oweri, we came to Victoria Island, and then this Ikeja two years ago. Naturally, nothing is rosy out there. Like this particular place, as beautiful as it looks here right now, we faced the challenges of COVID last year. You know, being a, new, a new business that was just in the boarding stage. We opened here November 22nd uh, March. There was a lockdown and everything. But I would say that for the past 10 years, it's been going very, very well. No matter the challenges that come across the line, we surmount it. That's life that's what life is all about so you can't just be rosy rosy all the way okay um so with 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 the huge influx of social media now i mean everybody has an instagram account everybody has a facebook account you know we go on facebook we see obi kubana we shout hey baba what's up for us now you know um it's it's very easy to sort of you know get into this rationale of thinking you know you can't just make it overnight you know so if you were to go back in time you know this is a 20 year old obi kubana now what advice would you would you give to this person trying to aspire to become the next Obi Kupana? I think uh, patience, diligence, hard work, and above all, I think you have to have integrity as a human being. You have to have integrity. You have to, as much as possible, let your word be your word. You see, the problem we have is that, uh, okay, let me give you an example. There was one day, I think that was our 10th year anniversary. I now made a post on my page and said, ah, it's not been easy, 10 years, Kubana, blah, blah, blah. So one, one guy came to my comment section and wrote, ah, 10 years, no, I know if you wait. <laughs> so that, 
<laughs> mentality of we want to make it, but I want to be like you. Right. Not, you have to look at the story behind the success. Success doesn't happen, happen overnight. <laughs> it doesn't happen. It's a 30 year and no rest. You understand? Right. So if I were to advise them, you have to work very hard. You have to follow the process. Yes, God's blessings might come uh, differently. Some people might, it might take them very long. Some mm -hmm. people might take a short period, but you have to work. You have to be focused. There's no free money out there. You understand? Mm -hmm. So all this cost soup, cost soup. Nothing like soup anywhere to, to cut. You have to work for your own soup. You understand? So right, when you're using right. the soap, nobody asks you, uh, why, why is it for me so much? Right. Okay? So I believe that also what the world lacks these days is integrity. You have to keep to your word. You have to, if you have business agreement with people, with establishments, with brands, you have to as much as possible respect that. And then you have, you see them coming back. You see things happening. You see it opening doors for you. You see people speaking on your behalf without even you asking for those things. So I think these are the things that people have to learn. People have to imbibe this, and it's a natural key opener to success. Very mm. simple. True, true. Just, just out of curiosity, this guy who you mentioned 10 years to, and he's like, ah, I don't feel it. What was your patient? What I was laughed. your response? I, I laughed because uh, <laughs> it, it, the, 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 like this beautiful place right now, mm -hmm. there were some messy situations and there were some messy stages. Nobody can see the cement right now. Nobody can see all those ones. So there are, before you can actually mold it to become something, there will be the struggle behind. You understand? Mm -hmm. So to him, you just came out of an eye because he's trying to say, like, like, hey, no, it's not been like that. We've been working very hard up till now. People feel I've made it. I have not. Really? I have not. I can, I can <laughs> say I've made it. But I'm getting there. I'm focused. I know what I want to be. I know what I want to leave behind. I know the legacies I want to leave behind as a human being. I'm not there yet, but we're on the right path. Encouraging, quite encouraging, I must <laughs> say. Um, so there's this, people often say like your, your net worth, your network determines your net worth. Okay. Um, now, I mean, seeing that you're quite a very social person, um, what would you say are the pros of, you know, having this huge network of people to you can always reach out to and if there are any downsides what would you say are the downsides to it as well naturally everything that has its advantages will always have its disadvantages uh, my business is built around people mm -hmm. you cannot do without people it's about socializing the same people you socialize with the your network will always bring in back these guys to come and patronize you you understand? Mm -hmm. So our our business is people based. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, in dealing with human beings, also you notice that along the line, you must have the the disappointments in life. That's natural. That's natural because even man disappointed God. So, but your ability to to turn every situation and then to manage every human being because every human being is unique. You have to manage everyone, but you cannot do without human being as far as this business is concerned. But would you say it gets distracting sometimes? You it, know, would you say it gets distracting sometimes? To me, it doesn't. I enjoy every bit of it. I utilize every bit of it. Whatever I see, you turn it to your own advantage. The mm -hmm. people who are with you will not distract you because they are the ones that are making you who you are. So when you're, when you're not working, Mm. What what will a typical Obikubana be doing? How do you cool up? How do you... Okay, I I read a lot. You read a lot? I read a lot. Uh -oh. I read a lot. So, everything I've learned in my life, everything I've applied in my life, I learned in the course of traveling. Okay. So I sit down, I lie down, I try to visualize the next step. When people are saying, wow, wow, you've done very well, you're looking at uh, what's the next step. Right. You have to keep worrying them because the moment you become irrelevant in the scheme of things, the time is gone. Hey. Nobody was for anybody. You can see all this thing in the big corner because as of today, it's working very well. And Great. you have to keep it that way. 
Great. Guys, guys, I mean, feel free. Join the conversation. Don't be left out. Just head over to the comment section. We have Mr. Obi Kubana. He's still very much here with us. And, uh, you know, just stay with us till the end. We have a very, very special giveaway for you guys. Um, so, Mr. Obi, back to you. Um, Seeing, seeing you build this very successful brand, this very successful Kubana brand from bottom up, um, were there times when you felt, man, this thing is too hard, I beg, you know, I, I've had enough, you know? Were there times where you felt, look, let me just give up and I move on to the next best thing? Yeah. Yeah. Every business, like I said, had its own challenges. Even prior to the Kubana brand, I had other businesses, which at the time, then in FCT, there were demolitions, and it affected me that I said, wow, I picked up my passport. I was going to go to South Africa to go and hustle over there. Luckily for me, I didn't get visa. As simple as South African visa was then, I couldn't get it. So I was like frustrated. I was fed up, and I was like, come on, we got to move. But on the second thought, I was like, ah, what am I looking for out there? Everything I've always wanted in life is here. And I went back to plan B. I started walking, I prayed, um, somehow I'm a spiritual human being, and I started putting everything I visualized into practice, and they started yielding positive results, and here we are. Nice. Now, um, one, of, one of the key things people seem to know about Mr. Obi is that you have a very lit Instagram page, right? <laughs> so, how are you able to manage your business and still manage quite an active fan base on instagram i think instagram the 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 more real you keep it the better i don't i wake up i don't even know what to post sometimes like if i post half of the things that i i encounter every day i mean it will be too busy but then again i try to put out there what will motivate the next person Right. Yeah. If I, if you see me, maybe posting about something materialistic, not just because to show off, but to motivate someone. If you see me lending a helping hand to someone, and I post it out there, I will do a write up just to let you know that these are doable. You can actually do things like this mm -hmm. to encourage people. Uh, sometimes I also go to my social. Uh, part of the posting and everything. I want to <laughs> show out there that even in the midst of all the challenges, right. you can be happy. You can be happy. So I think uh, my mood for the day determines what I post. And I've been trying as much as possible to keep it as lit as possible. Yeah. Okay, super. Now, I'll tell you, um, before scheduling this interview, we were actually debating on what exactly it is you will put up, right? Because Mr. Obi seems to be a very stylish man. So I'll be, I'll be simple. <laughs> simple I'll be and simple. You know. So what, what would you say inspires your um your fashion sense and you know um your style really? I I I, I wouldn't say I'm not I, I I don't actually go extra my trying to get what I wear. I do a lot of trad. Mm -hmm. you know, I do a lot of trial and a lot yeah. of casual. Obi Kubana was born on 12 April in 1975, and he's currently 46 years old as of today, um, in um, July 2021. Obi Kubana is from Oba. Oba is a community in the Middle South, local government area in Anamba State in Nigeria. His education. Obi Kubana attended Central Primary School where he had his first school living certificate. After he has collected his first school living certificate, he then went to Demis Memorial Grammar School, which is located in Onija. And there he had his West African Senior School Certificate, Waik. After he had completed his primary and secondary school education, Obi Kubana went to the University of Nigeria in Sukak where he obtained a degree in political science from the school. In, that happened in 1998. In 2006, Obi Kubana began his first club in Abuja, where he seeks to satisfy people who want to have fun and relax and um, enjoy life.
Following the remarkable progress he made from the Ibiza club, he then created the Cubana Group, which happened to be a hospitality club that provides all around entertainment satisfaction. In 2018, Obi Cubana got married to his beautiful wife, Ibele Ijebu, who is a lawyer by profession. The union is blessed with four sons. Should we talk about his net worth? Well, Obi Cubana is currently one of the richest and most influential personalities entertainer and celebrities in Nigeria with lots of business he has um, in his name his net worth is, is, is estimated to be um, about 96 million US dollars this is based on his income properties and assets as of today July 2021 um, a couple of hours ago Obu Kubana revealed how he bought um, a necklace a necklace that's worth 40 million naira, which is equivalent to 90, about 97 US and 7,000 US dollars. And um, the entrepreneur and night life boss Obi Kobana said he received about 246 cows from his friends with regards to his mother's burial, which took place a couple of hours ago. Alright guys, please, as you are watching this video, I plead for your support. This is the first time of coming to my channel. Please support me by subscribing to my channel. And if you have been coming to my channel to see my videos, I pray. May the good Lord bless and reward you abundantly.